Hello students, welcome back to my channel Miracle of Maths. In this video we are discussing a derivation which is important for 5 marks from straight line. The question is in the form derive the formula for the length of perpendicular drawn from any point x1 y1 to the line ax plus by plus c equal to 0 or prove that the perpendicular from any point x1 y1 to the line ax plus by plus c equal to 0 is modulus of ax plus by plus c divided by over the root a square plus b square. So let's begin the derivation by drawing the diagram. We will consider first the axis I will draw here x and y axis. Let us consider x and y axis. This is x axis and y axis. I will draw a line here which will cross both x and y axis. This is the line ax plus by plus c equal to 0. We are finding perpendicular from any point p of x1 y1. We will consider a point here which is p of x1 y1 any point and in this distance we are finding if you consider this point perpendicular on this line uh, pm consider this line as pm this distance we have to find this distance I will take here d and this point I will jo join both x and y axis x axis as well as y axis where it means I will name this one as q and r this is our line l line l meets the axis q and r o is origin okay now we have to consider coordinate of q and r using this line using this line we have to consider the coordinates of x q and r so in this x uh, equation ax plus by plus c equal to 0 to find the coordinates of q it the q lies on x axis so we know that uh, x y coordinate is 0 on x axis so first we will write y coordinate at 0 now we record the x coordinate while by substituting the value of y 0 in this equation we will get a x b into y 0 plus c equal to 0 then we need the coordinate x so a x plus c equal to 0 then x equal to minus c divided by a we will get the coordinate minus c divided by a. In the same way by using the same line, same equation, we will find the other coordinate of r. As we know that r lies on y axis and on y axis x coordinate is 0. So by substituting the value of x 0 in this equation a into x 0. So we will get by plus c equal to 0 then by equal to minus c. And y coordinate will become minus c divided by b. We will write here x coordinate we took as 0. Then we will get minus c by b coordinate of y. Okay. So we will consider first the given line here. That is let us consider the given line ax plus by plus c equal to 0 be a line be a line whose distance we are finding this perpendicular distance we have to find now we will draw draw pm perpendicular to l this pm we are drawn on perpendicular on the line l okay now let the meet uh, the coordinate meets at the axis q and r so consider those point q has the coordinate minus c divided by a and 0 as well as r has the coordinates 0 and minus c divided by b okay from uh, the same line we got both coordinate on x and y axis now we are observing a triangle here which is pqr okay pqr is a triangle this area of triangle we have to find i will consider here now consider area of triangle area of triangle pqr equal to we know the formula 1 by 2 time base into height area of triangle is 1 by 2 time base into height 
so 1 by 2 time what is base here qr is the base and what is the height the perpendicular distance is height so qr into height i will write here that is pm okay qr into pm we are finding this distance pm so pm equal to i will consider pm equal to the both term will shift in lhs side it will become 1 by 2 here uh, 2 multiplied 2 time area of triangle 2 time area of triangle pqr divided by qr consider this one as equation number 1 area of triangle pqr and the value of qr we have to find and substitute in this equation we will get the final equation ok so first we will find the area of triangle pqr ok and to find this we have the formula area of triangle pqr equals to we know the formula 1 by 2 times modulus of x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y2 y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 under the modulus we have this formula uh, to find this we required the coordinate x1 x2 x3 y1 y2 and y3 to substitute in this equation from the diagram as we know p of x1 y1 so here here in this formula x1 y1 has the coordinate same as x1 and y1 so for x2 and y2 i will consider the coordinates of q that is minus c divided by a and 0 for x3 and y3 x3 and y3 i will consider the coordinates of r that is 0 comma minus c divided by b okay this three point when we substitute in this formula will get when we substitute these three coordinates in the formula area of triangle area of triangle pqr equals to 1 by 2 times modulus of x1 x1 is same as x1 i will write here x1 inside the bracket y2 y2 is 0 here minus y3 0 minus y3 y3 coordinate we got minus c by b in the formula it is minus minus of minus will become positive plus c divided by b and plus x2 x2 is minus c divided by a inside the bracket y3 minus y1 y3 is minus c divided by b and minus y1 y1 is y1 itself minus y1 and the last one plus x3 x3 is 0 and inside the bracket y1 minus y2 y1 minus y2 is y1 minus 0 okay substitute whatever 0 into anything will become 0 itself okay and the next one which is equal to uh, 1 by 2 times inside the modulus when you multiply x1 into 0 it will become 0 so x1 into c x1 c divided by b first term we got minus into minus it will become positive c into c c square and divided by a into b it will become a b same way minus into minus it will become positive and c into y1 c y1 divided by b and 0 into anything will get 0 so i will close this modulus here itself okay next uh, to make the common denominator we have to take the lcm to make the common denominator we have to take the lcm here so b a b and b lcm will become a b for each term so this will become 1 by 2 times this will become 1 by 2 times inside the bracket x1 b is there and we have to multiply this one a b is our lcm b is there we have to multiply first term with a to convert this one as a b so it will become a x1 into c plus a b is there no need to multiply anything it will become c square and b is there we have to multiply here a 
a c y1 okay and we are observing here c is common in each term c is common and ab is the common denominator so we will take both the term out c is common modulus of c and ab is the common denominator as we take out inside the bracket we left with c is common here and we left with a x1 plus a c is outside when we get outside c a into y1 plus c square is there one c once come out and we left with c divided by a b is there already we took out okay so this is the value of area of triangle which we are finding area of triangle pqr equal to 1 by 2 times i will take 1 by 2 times and multiply this side so this will become 2 times area of triangle 2 times area of triangle pqr 2 times area of triangle pqr is equal to this equation as you multiply to this side will cancel here this will consider as equation number 2 now we have to find the value of qr okay Two time area of triangle PQR we got, and the value of QR we have to find using the diagram. Here QR lies. We'll apply here distance formula to find this QR. Okay, distance formula we have to apply to find the distance QR. Okay, for QR we have the formula. Distance formula that is x two minus x one whole square and plus y two minus y one. whole square under the root we have this formula now consider the coordinates of q and r i will consider the coordinates of q and r substitute in this formula we have the coordinates of q and r using the diagram q has the coordinate minus c by a and 0 r is 0 and minus c by b consider here q is equal to um, minus c by a Comma zero, and R is equal to zero and minus C divided by B. When we substitute this both coordinate in this equation, we'll get Q R equal to under the root x two minus x one whole square. That is zero x one x two. These are x one and x two value and y one and y two values. So x two minus x one whole square. X two is zero and x one is Minus c by a minus of minus plus c by a whole square plus y two minus y one whole square that is minus c divided by b and zero whole square over the root we are getting both the values over the root zero plus c by a whole square and minus c by b minus zero whole square q r is equal to over the root Uh, when we multiply root for both the terms, zero doesn't matter here, so we'll get c square divided by a square, and minus square will get positive, and c square divided by b square. Over the root, c square by a square and c square by b square. Cross multiply and a square b square take common from both the equation, so we'll get it is under the root a square. C square, B square plus C square, A square plus into C square plus B square into C square divided by A square plus B square. Okay, and now we can take common here, C square common uh, from both the term and denominator A square plus B square we left with. Okay, so this equation can be written as. when we take common uh, qr is equal to qr equal to under the modulus i will take both the term common that is c divided by ab and inside the root we left with a square plus b square only this is will consider as equation number 3 now substitute both the equation in one substituting substitute Equation two and three in equation one will get P M is equal to the equation one will uh, substitute here first. That is, we got C divided by A B under the modulus and A X one plus B Y one plus C 
प्लस सी डिवाइडेड बाय इक्वेशन थ्री डैट इज मॉड्यूलस ऑफ सी डिवाइडेड बाय ए बी इनसाइड द रूट ए स्क्वेर प्लस बी स्क्वेर एंड सेम टर्म गेट कैंसल विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ पी एम पी एम डैट इज परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस एज वी कॉल दिस वन एज डी ऑल्सो मॉड्यूलस ऑफ ए एक्स वन प्लस बी वाई वन प्लस सी डिवाइडेड बाय ओवर द रूट डिवाइडेड बाय ओवर द रूट ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर अंडर द मॉड्यूलस ए एक्स वन प्लस बी वाई वन प्लस सी डिवाइडेड बाय ओवर द रूट ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर हैंस दिस इज द प्रूफ ऑफ द डेरिवेशन you can check the whole derivation from the beginning once